Hi guys, it's Shayla here and I'm going to show you how I style my hair with my Dyson. So let's get started. guys so I'm back I'm trying to do better and like I told you I needed a tripod so I bought two I bought two tripods from Amazon like 20 bucks and I'm ready to get back in the game so I'm going to tell you all about my Dyson Airwrap how much I love it and show you how I style my hair so I'm just going to get right into it because I don't have time because I'm going to my friend's birthday party tonight and she's turning dirty 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 I'm like, let's just go ahead and, and do this. So normally, how I do my hair, I will tell you how I was doing it before. So I have, my mom bought me cute little Revlon, or the, this one's the Foxy, whatever, but it's like the same thing. She got it from TJ Maxx, but it's working just as great. And like the Revlon's been reduced in price. Like I just got it for 30 for my friend's birthday anyway. She doesn't know that. And this video will be up after I give her her gift. So she doesn't know what I just bought her. But anyways, normally this is what I use. Like. I promise you, if I don't wrap my hair at night, if I don't put it in a bonnet, if I just sleep on it, my hair will be kind of like, you know, stringy and a little bit of a mess or whatever. So all I do is I spray dry shampoo on it and I go ahead with this, blow it out real quick and that's about it. And then I can throw some curls in it if I want to. But this is a Dyson video. So I'm going to show you about the Dyson. So I went and got the, I scratched myself so bad. Y'all cannot see this, but I just realized I scratched myself really bad. I'm gonna put some tea tree oil in it. Like I'm pretty upset. Anyways, so I'll calm down and slow down when I'm talking. So normally I use Dove, like I think it's like a powder. Maybe it's like lavender dry shampoo. So I switched to the 100% natural tapioca orange blossom because it smells good, but I don't think it works as well as the other Dove. Um, so like it just, it just doesn't, I think, stick to the oil um, that well as the other hair, uh, as the other Dove dry shampoo. And you can see, cause like it kind of turns it white and it's just, it just ain't doing it. So normally I go through with the brush. So I'm gonna use the brush attachment. And for those of you, don't be like, oh, you're using this wrong. This is how I use it all the time. But I just go through really quickly because I just need to refresh. My hair is not really dirty. Like I said, I probably just slept on it. But like, it's just not, y'all know how dry shampoo is supposed to be. And I'm just, I'm not sold on 100% natural. Moroccan oil also has, I just went out of there. Moroccan oil also has really good dry shampoo as well. But theirs is like a little bit of a pricier side. And I think this was like $3. So, you know, but I just, I'm not sold on this one. I'm all about being, you know, um, not healthy. Well, healthy and saving the environment, but this ain't, this ain't doing it. And I definitely make sure to always get the ends like that. So that's how I normally start off. And this is just like me when I get ready to go for work in the morning or, you know, like right now when I just need to refresh my hair and then I just go through like this. And like I said, I normally use the Revlon attachment. If I keep looking this way, it's because that's where the mirror is. I normally use the Revlon attachment, but I'm not. I'm going to do the Dyson today. <sighs> so first of all, I fell in love with this. I was very apprehensive. I was like, I don't need that. It's too expensive. It doesn't do enough, but it does. It really, really does, you guys. And I'm going to show you. I have not used the brush here first. So I'm trying to figure out if I should use this attachment, not this one. I, I don't think this is it. I think I'm going to go in with this one right here, because this resembles the bristles that I already use. Um, so I'm just gonna show you me styling it from start to finish. So I'm gonna put it on like this, which is the wrong way. I'm gonna take it back out, and I'm gonna act like I'm not in a rush, because I'm not really too much in a rush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this up. So let's do that. Okay, so. I'm gonna probably do a voiceover because I don't know if I can talk through this, but go ahead and start with this. Comes out really cool for it. All 
All right, you guys, so now I'm going through and I'm going to brush out my hair and give it a nice blown out look. If you see the white substance in my hair, that's the powdery substance from the dry shampoo. And it takes a second, it like sits on your hair and it has to absorb all of the oils. And then you can either like kind of scrub it out, like the motion of doing shampoo, or use the brush, which is what I'm doing. I also completely knock my earring out at one of these points because I'm doing this so fast. So at that point, I knocked my earring out. I was doing a lot, but you can see now that I have a lot of, oh, I lost the back to my earrings. So I'm gonna take these out. These are my favorite earrings by Alex Batar. If you haven't heard of Alex Batar, you need to because all his earrings are unique and amazing and I love them. Um, I'm gonna put them in a safe place. So I did this because like I said, I just needed it to be blown out. I needed to go ahead and get all the white powder and you can see already that it's giving me like more life um already i'm gonna probably do a little bit more underneath here Thank you. so to release it you just go ahead and push this button right here like i'm saying i use the heat on that I'm such a brown or brown. I'm such a round brush enthusiast. So much fond. It's just bigger. It gets, I don't know what that was. It's bigger. It gets more sections, volume. It's just, I'm still going to use this. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. I am not going to be pinning my hair after this. I'm going to just go ahead and do it. And I like to still use hairspray after it. Um, these are the directions that we're going, so always this way. So this one's, oh, it's showing it backwards. Ah. So this way, this way. We gonna figure it out, I'm gonna let you know. And then also when you wanna do my fair faucet, I actually, you go upwards. So it would be this one upwards, but it may look like I'm using the wrong ones, but the camera, is flipping these, okay? The camera's flipping these. So just trust me, trust me. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I always start with the left side. And I'm, I normally just be doing the front. I'm probably not gonna do all of this. This is for y'all. I ain't got all that time today. We gonna go right here and just do what it is. So, playing my own music, cause you know I ain't got time, but we're gonna talk about it. Maybe I should do like a, do I like the Dyson, da 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 da. Oh, I can't find my favorite hair clip. Yeah. Hold on. If anyone wants to send me some hair clips, I would greatly appreciate it. I would greatly appreciate some hair clips. Then we're going to piggy tail it over here. And I'm going to try and get close for y'all. Get close, bitch. Get closer. Oh, get closer. Okay. So I'm going to go through with my brush and still brush it through. Some accents are going to come out in that way. Go back in with the Dyson. I'm going with the one that the arrow goes this way, this way, this way, because that's what we're using. Go ahead, throw it on here. Um, maybe I can talk about what I'm doing this weekend. Oh, you know what? It might be too light. It might be too noisy. We'll see. So just do it like this. It is on. I thought, you see that? It is wrong way. Okay. Okay. So we're going to redo that. Okay. It's on. You kind of feel, see that? And that's, so here's the thing. I feel like, um, who was hot in here? So I leave it on here for about, I feel like I need longer barrels. I'm gonna go ahead and already let you know I need longer barrels. I'm gonna already let you know that like I need longer barrels. I can already tell you. So I like one Mississippi and two then I blast it with the cool air. This thing is hot. It is burning me up. Blast it with the cool air. Um, cool, 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 cool. And what you're supposed to do is shut it off and then pull it out. I don't like that. This is it. You're supposed to shut it off and pull it out. I'm not a fan of that, but you know, go off. And these sections are also a little bit too small for me. If you notice, um, so this is the intensity that you want the fan. 
And if you also notice, this is how hot. It's up too hot for me, so I'm just gonna go right there because it's too much. These are the locking mechanisms, like I was unable to tell you uh, before. <sighs> so, then after this, I'm gonna go right back. It's not gonna be as hot. And it just loops and grabs on like that. See, better. That was better. Um, I, so first of all, I tried this because my friend had it in Cancun and I'm like, I loved it. Um, I think it's a great everyday tool. Like, I, when I get up from work, I just do this very, very quickly. It's better than me putting the extreme heat that I would with a flat iron or anything else on my hair. Um, and I'm just a really big fan of it. It is pricey. I know there are dupes out of that, but with this technology, like, it's worth it. I'm turning it on cool. You can see that I, like, pushed it up a little bit and now it's on cool. And I'm just going to drop it like that. So you can kind of see that curl. It's a little bit different than this curl. It's really hot in here. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I go ahead and do my hair. So I brush it out before and I let the air wrap do what it's supposed to do, which is grab onto that piece of hair. And so you're normally supposed to have it on the high heat. Sometimes I flip in between that, um, but you go ahead and let it sit for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then you're going to go ahead and blast it with the cool setting for about five to 10 seconds after that. So you always see me waiting during that, listening to music and jamming. And then I choose to spray my hair after. You don't have to, but I always like to hold and set my curls in. Um, but it really depends on how you, A, make sure your hair grips the barrel. And you can see right there, I was having a little bit of an issue because I need longer barrels. But also, you can still use the shorter ones. I don't want to say that you can. You just have to hold on to it a little bit longer. And also, there is a difference in when you actually pull out your dicing because I noticed that if I immediately pull it out um, after I've done the cool shot and I immediately pull it out I'm going to get I feel like a more curlier look versus if I turn the machine off which is what you're supposed to do pull it out that way so I'm going to go ahead and slow down the video so you guys can really get more of a look of what I'm doing here remember to always section off your hair I'm not doing that good of a job of sectioning. I mean, I kind of know how I want my hair to look, so I'm not making it too tight of sections. Um, but I really want you guys to just pay attention here. And I'm actually probably just going to play some music so you guys don't have to keep listening to me talk. But I always brush out my hair before I go ahead and do the look. And the top por portion is what's most important to me. Uh, you can see me struggling once again. It's not really a struggle. It's just me. I'm just like, ah, how does it go? Um, but with the new attachment, they're really going to be perfecting even more how it attaches. Normally it's us. And by us, I mean the users, the hair really will attach through the airflow. You really don't need to help it at all. And it depends on the direction. I like to do mine a little bit tilted, but you can actually hold the Dyson upright and it will still attach to the hair. So that's also a different option of how you want your hair to come out as well. So you see, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this and I get that type of curl. And I didn't want it tighter than that. So I didn't hold it for too long because I'm gonna end up you know, messing these around and, and mushing them a, a little bit so that I can get the type of effect that I want. I also later in a video go back in because I like the pieces that are framing my face to be really tight in the curls um you see how that one attached very easily I like it to be really tight so in order to get that tight look you need to usually be on that high heat setting and you also need to make sure that you are waiting the proper amount of time especially with the cool shot because the cool shot function where it switches to the cold air is setting in that style even more than the heat and that's the problem that some people don't realize that that's a very crucial step as well and so when it comes to these pieces that you know i call the face framing pieces um, which i think is the official term for it i really make sure to follow the direction of the hair because i want them to be going outwards i want that fair faucet look so this is also my favorite part oh i love this part so you see i'm well actually no we haven't got to my favorite part yet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play the music and you can just see me go into the other direction with my hair i always have more success with one side of the hair just like similar when you're doing your eyebrows there's always one eyebrow that looks better so with this one this is just me doing my right side um and also this is just a normal trick when you're doing your hair normally when you 
you do the curls um you're supposed to hold your curl in your hand and many people don't do that you also hold it to kind of set and um really get the curl to cool off that's a real high function that's a really pretty curl that's a real function of curling your hair in general not just with the air wrap doing that cooling um section and you'll see people or your hairstyles may be moving the curl up and down um that's very vital here you can see that i just stacked all that hair in there sometimes i'd be like look i gotta go i ain't got time for all that i'm gonna stack all this hair in there and it's perfect i should also mention that this is perfect for beach hair if any of you wanted to know like it's a dance party section i wish i could hear my music but no here we are we're at my favorite part right here i have music playing in the background so that's why i'm doing my voiceover um and with this one we're going to go into the face framing um at the top which will give you that ugh, if you don't know who Farrah Foss is just look her up because that's what I think of all my tools have a certain hairstylist name like I have the Kim Kardashian I have the Farrah Fawcett look like I have them all I have the 90s but anyways so this is important when you the one that you want is the one that goes upwards I know that it is looking different but it's the one that goes upwards that you want. And it's because the screen is flipped. Don't worry. If you try and use the other one, it's not going to come out right. But you go ahead. You see, I take the end pieces if they can't fit. And I still wrap them around. And it's important at this part to really make sure you are on the high heat, set, heat setting. And that you are holding it for the amount of time. And then that you definitely blast it with a cool setting. So that you can get this nice bouncy look in the front. And that can really... Um, frame your face like what i was saying so we're going to go ahead i'm waiting the proper amount of time and then it looks like this but don't worry trust the process you're going to go ahead and flip it back flip it black black uh, flip it back and play with it a little bit you see this this is a uh, so much more bounce is making me give like i just came from the salon and it really pulls the look together and so you keep messing you know mess around with it a little bit and it's just giving me life i'm very excited you can hear me i was like this is it this is the look oh yes and now it all blended together because y'all were worried and i was worried too but now it just looks beautiful so beautiful that i'm gonna sing right now because i was like yes i got it mm, if y'all could guess what song it is i you know i'll tell you in the comments below try and guess what song it is and I also put some other questions if you have them um but yeah so this is just me talking more about um how it's giving you that blown out look and effect but i'm still gonna go back in because some pieces you know, sometimes I'll find pieces and I need them to really mesh well together. So I'll go back in with the styler and just do like a quick update. So yeah, you guys, this is pretty much pretty much it. You see me going in and doing those end pieces. I'm a real end pieces fanatic. Like I like it to look smooth on the bottom. I love the Kim K look, how it looks smooth. And now I can pretty much achieve it with this. That was also a very pretty curl, but just take your time, play with it and see which direction you want the curls to go. I always set my hair. This is pretty much the finished look right here. I'm going to do my makeup and check me out on my next tutorial.